So one of my new favorite things right now is the Butterball XXL electric turkey fryer. Now I've been wanting a turkey fryer for years. I make a great turkey, so I'm told. I think it's pretty good, but everybody loves it. It's just a lot of work. It takes hours. So what I normally do is, is we'll take the bird out and uh, I have to truss it on a spit because I'm going to cook it on the barbecue. That in and of itself, getting it situated on the spit is probably a 15 or a 20 minute battle with a turkey. <clears throat> Man versus turkey, it's not a pretty thing to watch. But I always win. And then we put it on the grill and I stuff it with, you know, onions and uh, oranges and, you know, different aromatics like that. And we turn it on the grill. And that's a three and a half to four and a half hour process with me checking on it every 15 or 20 minutes and basting it and all that. It takes a long time. It tastes awful good. So I, I keep talking about this double XL turkey fryer and my wife is, is against the idea. You know, fryers are dangerous and they're big. They take up a lot of space and we just really don't need it. Well, last year, I decided I needed it. So, I ordered it. I just didn't tell my wife about it. About a week later, I said to her, well, you're either going to get mad or now or you're going to get mad later, so you might as well get mad now. I ordered a turkey fryer. And she lost her mind for a little bit, but ultimately she recovered. I wasn't sure about this turkey fryer. So last year, I made two turkeys. I made one the way I always do it on the barbecue and I made another one in the electric turkey fryer. And let me tell you, they're both awesome, but the turkey fryer was a little bit better and a whole lot easier. And at that point, my wife said, we're keeping that thing. It's awesome. So here's the process. Buy a turkey. The 2XL will hold up to a 22 pound turkey. And you let it come to room temperature, cool down a bit. Now, it's going to take you 30 minutes to an hour to get the oil to come to temperature. But once that happens, you're done. So I'll season the outside of my turkey, you know, just more for color than anything else. Put it in the tray. And when it hits that temperature, you lower it down in slowly, very slowly. That's probably the longest and the hardest thing you have to do. Then it's four minutes per pound. That's it. We did a 22 pound turkey this year in 88 minutes. What my wife loves about it is that I'm not outside for four hours at the barbecue. Once I've put it in the oil, I'm done until my time is up. Then you take it out. It's got a little rest. You let it rest there. I don't know, I let it rest there for five, six minutes. All the oil drains out so that it's not sitting in any oil. And that's it. And I have to tell you, it's the easiest turkey I've ever made. It tastes awesome. This year we actually had to do two. We have people over on Thanksgiving. Then the day after Thanksgiving, we traditionally have friends over. We went through so much turkey, so much of that 22-pound turkey the first night, there wasn't enough leftover for the second night. So we had to do a 16-pound turkey the second night. That's some really good turkey.